ugly. I just want to create something interesting about my affection for Belle Delphine, but I'm stumped. You know, I heard about this French guy named Pierre Louis Lebas, who got in the news for making an artistic portrayal of Belle Delphine doing that amusing face at a melodic way. It is played as bar, Le Croissant Rivre. Michael, are you seriously thinking about stealing that art? Yup, Aubrey, my feelings for Belle Delphine are strong, and I want to express them uniquely. But Copper, remember, we're already wed. Also, having more than one spouse, like marrying multiple people, is against the law, and it's something mostly seen in a certain group of people. Pish posh, Aubrey, I'm the master of my own romantic destiny, even if it means wrestling with Logadi. And you, my dear, have your eyes on that Norwegian cowboy asshole. Good luck with that. Hey there, Monsieur Pierre Huileba. Mind if I take a VIP tour of this masterpiece you call a bar? I'm trying to soak up your buns and brilliance. Holy macaroni! That's just one heck of a bad Elfian interpretation. The way you've immortalized her, I just did a sardic face like a tractor beam for the soul. How would you conjure this magic? Confession time, I'm a certified Belle Delphine sin. Excellent. Solitude at last. Time to enact Operation Stealthy Masterpiece Relocation. Stealth mode engaged. Bag ready and oh so black. Well, Aubrey, guess what? I successfully liberated Pierre's masterpiece of Belle Delphine's magnificence. Copper, are you out of your fucking mind? Stealing someone's artwork is not only illegal, but incredibly unethical. And you're planning to play here in a fucking studio? This is going too far. Fucking jackass, you can't tell me what to do. This artwork represents my feelings for Belle Delphine, in a way that words never could. Right, because nothing says romance like a fucking side hustle and burglary. But mark my words, if Pierre's art vigilantes come knocking, I'll be the one sipping tea and saying, I told you so. <sighs> Aubrey, were you worth extraordinaire? Just let me bask in my artistic theory, okay? Sweetie! Remember how we talked about barbing without permission? Turns out, your dad is the king of barbing adventures. But don't you worry, you're inheriting your mama's good sense, not his ninja antics. Well, 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 if it ain't the Trump-loving fuckers, feast my eyes upon my latest creation, the ultimate, mind-boggling, super-duper-mega-awesome Belle Delphine artwork. Take a gander at its expression, folks. Ain't she just the cutest damn thing? Move over, Harold Balder, Samsung Cat, Basti Gagashad, and even I do all the tracks. Yeah, you heard that right. You couldn't even hold a candle to this masterpiece. And let's not forget my Egypt stream escapade. No live stream this time, folks, because the stickheads were turned into a dumpster fire. Now, look at this art. Just look at it. I swear, if I could, I'd fucking marry it. Oh, Jerry. Just as I suspected, if he ends up in hot water,
Greetings, dear viewers, to the realm of news where reality is just a suggestion. Buckle up, cause this one's a roller coaster. Remember Pierre? Yeah, the artistic maestro behind that Belle Delphine Marvel? Well, guess what? It's like a plot twist from a soap opera, Copper Cab. Yep, yeah, the same guy who gave us the iconic gingers have soul sermon and a symphony of woke vibes. Decided to do the art shuffle. And oh, what a shuffle it was. Pierre's now pressing charges, and rumor has it that Judge Peggs is on deck, the courtroom's version of Thor's hammer. Well, I'm worried about Copper Cab. He's a fervent hater of me, and that facilitates and favors my popularity, and I don't want to tarnish. I partnered with Base Gigaka to write the sentence in court and make him wear a shirt saying that he simps for Base Gigaka. I don't want him to go to jail. Listen, Emma Copper Cub's been my Twitter sparring partner for ages. It's like an old couple sitcom that boosts my ratings, all right. Listen, Joseph, Pace Giga Kid has a legion of fans who eat up this kind of drama. It's a win-win situation, and as for handling things well, I've dealt with my fair share of controversies. Sometimes you've got to be strategic, you know? Let's just say I know how to make the most out of any situation. And if it keeps the spotlight on me while Copper Cap Tap dances his way through the legal system, then so be it. Heck yeah, that our size that was like winning a lottery. Uh, wait, how did you even get in here? Did you use a secret passage? A hidden tunnel? Hold on a sec, I know my rights. You can't just barge in like a, like a Tasmanian devil on caffeine. M Miranda. My rights. Fine, fine, I'm walking. No need to zap me with your electrifying sense of duty. Broadcasting sounds like something I'd do.
Your Honor, this is completely cuckoo bananas. Not only did Pierre open the door for me like a brainless bandicoot, but this courtroom is a whole new level of crazy. What on earth are those? Toaster ovens full of rotten eggs? Are they just for me or are you putting on a special show for me? Huh? Yeah, yeah, if he surely loves sex, he surely loves me. Well, your honor, I might have quote-unquote borrowed the artwork, but it was all in the name of expressing my feelings for Belle Delphine. It's like, uh, it's like a giant gesture of infinite love. Oh, oh, great! What other bad shit are you pulling out of your protein-packed sleeves now? What the? Hold on a second. I sim. All right, Pierre, here goes nothing. I'm super duper sorry for my borrowing adventure. I'll show you with gold coins, cement your own loving heart. And you, you piece of value conservative shit. Behold, little dingbats, the pièce de résistance of my wardrobe. Prepare your eyes for a spectacle that screams, I'm sophisticatedly fantastic. Jackass! Fuck you, Giga Chad! You're not even fucking funny! DO NOT LAUGH AT ME IN THE LIVE